What's up guys, in this video I will guide you on how to connect your laptop to any TV wirelessly without HDMI. So by the end of this video, you should be able to mirror your laptop screen or even use your TV as a second display for your laptop. And it doesn't matter the type of TV you have, whether it's an Android TV, Google TV, Samsung, LG, Hisense TV, whatever TV you have, this tutorial is going to work out pretty well for you. And to do this, first things first, you want to come over to your TV. And on your TV, over here I'm using an Android TV, but you can actually do the same thing for any TV you have. And so you want to basically connect your TV to your Wi-Fi or hotspot network. So head over to the Wi-Fi settings or internet settings of your TV. Over here you can literally see the network and internet settings. Go ahead and make sure your TV is actually connected to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. As you can see, mine is actually connected to my hotspot over here. And on your laptop, you want to also make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network that your TV is connected to. In my case over here, if I come over to the Wi-Fi and internet settings of my laptop at the bottom, you can literally see that I am also connected to iPhone 13 Sam, which is basically the name of my hotspot. Now, once you're sure that both your laptop and your TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, the first method you can use to connect and screen mirror your laptop screen to your TV is to basically use the browser. Now, this is actually one of the methods I know that works pretty well and works for most smart TVs. So what you want to do is to go ahead and open up any browser on your laptop. You can use the Google Chrome browser over here or just use the Microsoft Edge browser, whichever one you have. In my case, I'll be using the Google Chrome browser. At the top right corner of your browser, you're going to see this three dots icon. Go ahead and select it. Now scroll down once it opens up until you find the cast feature from the list of options we have over here. Now in my case, you can literally see we have the cast, save and share feature. Just navigate to the left hand side once you highlight it and you should be able to find the cast option at the top over here. If you're using the Microsoft Edge browser, once it opens up, you click on the three dots icon at the top right corner of the browser, go into more tools and you should be able to find the cast media to device option over here. Now, whether you're using the Microsoft Edge or the Google Chrome browser or any browser on your laptop, what you just want to do is to go ahead and select the cast options and automatically your laptop will start to search for available devices that are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the laptop. Now, at the top over here, you can see a couple of TVs I have around me. And basically, this is the name of my TV. But before you go ahead to click on it, you want to come over to the source option over here, select it, and then make sure you select cast screen instead of the cast tab option. Select cast screen and then go ahead and click on the name of your TV now. And automatically, your laptop will be connected and mirrored to your TV. At this point, you can also go ahead and close the Google Chrome browser or any browser you're using and it will actually be reflected on your TV as well. But if this first method does not work out for you, another method that will definitely work out for you is to simply use the screen mirroring or screen casting feature of your laptop. For this, first of all, you want to also make sure that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi as you can see over here. And then you want to go ahead and simply press on the Windows plus K shortcut on your laptop. This will actually open up the screen mirroring feature of your laptop. Or alternatively, you can just go over to the Windows icon at the left hand side of your laptop over here. Come over to settings and then just go over to system settings, select display. And under display at the bottom over here, you're going to see the multiple display options. And then under it, you have the connect to a wireless display option. Go ahead and select that and your laptop will automatically start searching for available devices it can actually connect to. Once you're able to find the name of your TV, as you can see, mine is literally over here. Once you select it, automatically your laptop screen will be connected and mirrored to your TV. And this works pretty well. It is even faster than the first method. However, it does not always work out for some people. Also with this method, you can go ahead and use your TV as a second screen or a second display for your laptop as well. So to do that, you want to come over to the display settings. From the display settings at the bottom, you're going to see that we have the duplicate this display option just under the multiple display option on your laptop. What you want to do is to go ahead and select that and then instead of duplicate this display, you want to go ahead and select the extend this display option and automatically, your TV will now be used as a second screen or an extended display for your laptop. If any of these solutions actually worked out for you, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one. 